For changing the audio, please use Equalize APO as the audio manipulation engine. And please make good use of it, in order to give you the abilities to equalize and to apply all kinds of effects on the audio. As this engine is command driven, an app like Peace changes the audio by giving the engine the proper commands. An example of this can be seen on the commands window of Peace. There you'll find the exact equalize APO commands, which Peace creates according to your input. But you can do more on the commands window. You can enter your own commands. Right on the main Peace window, you'll find a button called commands. Clicking on it leads you to the commands window. On this window, you enter the Equalize APO commands for a specific audio manipulation in several available text fields, where each field has a different purpose. Using Equalize APO commands in a proper meant way can be intimidating, and the commands window looks quite difficult. But by understanding the commands in this commands window, you are able to intervene at certain positions in the piece audio commands generating process, thus changing the audio as you want it, and where you want it. Before diving into all possible commands of Equalize APO, you might take a look at some examples which are conveniently present in the list at the right. These examples are giving you a way to learn some Equalize APO commands and how to use them. Just click on an example and click the test button below to hear its effect on the audio. Although not very useful, the echo example is a nice one to notice the effect on the audio. After clicking on it, the proper commands will appear in a left text field. Be aware that a text field should be empty before clicking an example. Well, unless you know what you are doing and you want it as a part of your total command structure. As the entered commands are only applied after clicking the test button, you can easily just look at the examples by clicking them into the text fields. They don't do anything, so they aren't going to mess up the audio until you hit the test or save button. As you can see, there are three text fields on which you can enter commands. In total, there are five fields on the commands window. Two of them show commands generated by Peace, where the fourth field contains the main audio changing commands. This field is interesting, as it exactly shows you how your equalization and effects are actually done. Or better said, how Peace lets equalize APO's audio engine do it. The second field shows how Peace is selecting the audio device you have set in the devices list. This means that the commands in the first field are done before Peace selects the audio device. These commands are meant to be very general. The third field is for commands which need to be executed before Peace does its magic, but are specifically for the selected audio device. And the bottom fifth field is for commands which needs to be executed afterwards. Equalize APO has quite a lot of commands. These are described in the wiki on the website of Equalize APO. They are listed in the chapter called Configuration Reference, which can be accessed by going to the Documentation Wiki tab on the website and by clicking on the Configuration File Format and then Configuration Reference. The commands can be divided into three types. The most important commands are the audio changing ones, as listed under the filtering commands chapter. These include the commands for equalizing your audio. For manipulating the audio like copying the audio stream to another channel, there are the audio manipulation commands. And last, for some clever programming, there are the commands like if and else statements. As said, after entering commands, Peace doesn't apply them immediately. This gives you the chance to think about them and enter them properly. After you are convinced of their proper use, you can click the test button to test them, or even click the save button to apply them, and leave the commands window. When testing them and things go terribly wrong, just click the panic button. This will immediately lower the volume to a level that no harm can further be done to your ears or speakers. The reset button is there if you want to go back to the former state in which the commands window was after opening it. If you need help, click the help button. It pops up the chapter on the commands window of the Peace manual. As said, save applies to commands and closes the commands window to return to the main Peace window. A few other things to note. When saving a configuration by clicking the save button on the main screen of Peace, the entered commands are also saved with the configuration. This means you can use a combination of equalization effects and commands to make your very specific audio setup. 
piece offers many possibilities to manipulate the audio. The list of examples on the commands window contains ones like crossfeed and upmix. But these are also given features on the piece effects panel. So there isn't a need to use these commands unless you need something special to happen to the audio. Although the commands wiki on the Equalize APO website lists all commands, well except for the loudness command, this wiki doesn't explain the many possibilities of the commands. Only the main uses are explained. But you can learn from how Peace is doing its magic by looking at the commands it's generating.